Okay, now I asked you to fetch, when you arranged, when you got these, right? I asked you to not just fetch the different colors, but also um, some that were the same, right? Some that were identical. So I'm going to do a bit of a swap now. So I've got, um, I've got three extra white ones. If you didn't fetch them, you can go, go and get some now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange these, or reshuffle them rather. I'm gonna take three of my colors out, like so, and replace them with these guys. Okay, so now my next point is not how many ways to arrange N objects, but how many, come in. That's okay, grab a seat. How many ways to arrange N objects, but the difference is I've got some number of identical elements or identical objects, okay? So how many ways to arrange N objects when, now I need another um, letter here for reasons that will become clear later. I'm just, I'm going to use the letter A. I'm going to, I'm going to reserve K for something special later. So how many ways to arrange N objects when A are identical? Okay, so I want you to have a look. Again, again, when I think about this just as a set of objects and not worrying about them being identical for the first time, I go through and I repeat this process. So I'm not going to redraw it, right? Bless you. I'm not going to redraw this diagram because it'll look exactly the same. I'm like, oh, I just, I choose, I choose, I choose. And eventually, they fit, there we go. Eventually, I get an order. Okay, so I'm like, look, there are 10 factorial ways that I could do something like this. But then you notice, then you notice, when you have a look, because the most important thing that differs from here to the previous one is clearly these guys, right? These guys here. Let's just break them out for a second, okay? Now, these identical objects, you can see, like, as an arrangement, right? These guys are kind of their own arrangement. There's a, this is an important idea in arrangements, that you've got like sub-arrangements within a big um, set of arrangements. And you can see these four I can also put in a particular order. Do you notice that? Now hold on a second. Go back to this one. How many ways can I arrange these four identical objects? Four factorial, right? Four factorial. But as soon as I do that, for example, think about, oh, what's a different way I could do it? Like say maybe I, I sort these guys and then I, I sort these guys. So I've got a new arrangement. Except for the fact that this is exactly the same as, well, to my, to my eyes, right? This is exactly the same as the arrangement I had before. And I can do this, I can rearrange these guys four factorial ways. So therefore, I'm not going to get, good morning, I'm not going to get 10 factorial I've actually, and this is an important idea, I have overcounted, right? We've overcounted, this is such an important idea, I'm gonna capitalize it, underline it. We've overcounted by a factor of a factorial, okay? So this is different to when I had a look here and I was like, well, how many spots have I got? I still had to fill up all the spots. I still had the same number of objects, right? Yeah. I wonder how else would it be a factor minus one because like if you take away four factor one that means that there would be no more addition. There would be blanks. What do you mean by blanks? As in like if you like by thinking of fact four factor that means that you don't have the white thing anymore. Okay, so the idea is that I suppose part of the problem is the language we're using here, right? When I said oh I take out four factorial I'm dividing by 4 factorial, right? So what I'm thinking about is all the different ways I can have this exact same one here, and the white ones are still there. It's just like, well, the white ones can be rearranged in 4 factorial ways and still be in there and still look the same to me, okay? So they're still there. It's not like I have, it's not like I've asked this, right? It's not like I've asked this. This is about how many ways to arrange uh, 6 objects, which is 6 factorial. Okay, but I've got I've got more ways than that. Like I've got I'm still including these guys because remember, right? Including them in means I can arrange these guys not just in the order they're in now, but I can put them in different spots. Like for example, see how this guy's second at the moment? I could make him first, and that's that's new now. Okay, good morning. Okay. So whereas what you're thinking of, like actually removing these guys all together and just leaving you with these, that's six factorial. But this is still including, I still have 10 spots to fill. I'm still doing this. I just noticed that some of my um, 
lines of 10 look the same, and so I've overcounted. Okay, so it's not about arranging less objects, it's about arranging the same number, but realizing that some of those are the same. Okay. Are we compensating for um, the position of the white inside the colorful ones? Like, for example, if I've got all four of them, which are the white ones, and yep. they're right in the middle next to each other. Yep. Where, how, where are we compensating for that? Yeah, okay. So the answer is. <clears throat> I don't need to compensate because I've counted all the different ways I can put them, say, all together or separate or like um, interleave between them here, right? When I just thought about where am I going to put these guys, this 10 factorial, it's just that, like, so I've got, I've got this arrangement and I've also got this arrangement, right? Those have been counted here, right? But then these look identical to some of the other ways I could do this. Like if I, yeah, that's right. If I gave these guys names, right, um, and then and started rearranging them and knew they were different, but then took off all their labels and was like, well, it's the classic sort of like twins experiment, right? It's like, you know, any of them like, let's just have the same haircut for a little while and be able to swap back and forth. Um, but well, we can't tell the difference, mostly, okay? So that's what I'm worrying about. The positions have been taken care of here, and I'm worried about the overcounting here, okay? So. So therefore, because I've overcounted, right, I start with my n factorial, which was 10 factorial in this case. But because I've got too many, in the same way that you argued for me, hey, you better be multiplying here, not adding. To compensate, I'm going to divide. That's the opposite of my multiplication operation, right? So that's n factorial on a factorial, right? Now, the reason why I chose a is suppose, now I didn't ask you to do this because this is a bit, um, Suppose I then said, okay, uh, it's not just, for example, four identical objects. I might have four of those and three of these. Okay. Now, I can still rearrange those four white ones, right? But then in addition to that, as well as that, I can rearrange these black ones, right? So actually, I'll put them separate so you can see them a little clearer. Oopsies. So when I have a look at this, I could swap this one and this one, just go end to end, right? And it would still look like the same arrangement to me. So as well as doing the A factorial and having overcounted, good morning, by that factor, I could overcount by a factor of, say, B factorial. If that was like, that might be three. And A factorial and B factorial and C factorial, however many identical elements I've got, okay? So maybe you want to um, make a note of that. Um, not only by a factor of A factorial or B factorial, C factorial, etc. According to how many kinds of identical elements I've got, right? So would you just divide a factorial by those other ones? Yeah, exactly. So for example, this one here would be 10 factorial on 4 factorial, 3 factorial, right? Okay. Because again, think about this. Now I had, a, before remember I pulled out these four and I said, hey look, these guys are kind of like their own arrangement and they all look the same, right? So it's like, yeah, I can pull these guys out. So there's their own set in there. And then after that, I take out these guys and say, well, they're their own arrangement too. And all of their arrangements look identical and there will be three factorial of them. Does that make sense? So yes, I would just keep dividing by however many there are, uh, according to how many identical sets I have. And how large those sets are. Okay, very good.